Far in the future, overpopulation is about to destroy the planet Earth. To create a backup plan in case our ecosystem fails, humans decide to change the atmosphere of Mars and make it suitable for human existence. The process is called terraforming. They start by growing a simpler form of life like moss on its surface. The moss would help to increase the temperature of the planet and make it similar to the Earth's temperature. To spread moss over its surface, genetically engineered cockroaches are sent. It is now the year 2597. Somewhere in Tokyo, two criminals named Komachi and Nana are being chased by the police. They run frantically through the crowd but are caught. As the police surround them, a futuristic vehicle levitates in the sky and lands nearby. Inside the vehicle is Dr. Honda and his assistant. They are there to fetch the two criminals and use them for their benefit. The doctor offers them to be a part of the Mars colonization mission. Komachi and Nana will have to go to its surface and eradicate all the cockroach colonies since they are no longer needed. Dr. Honda promises to pardon their crimes if they agree to participate. The duo accepts the offer. Cut to two years later, Nana and Komachi are now trained and are flying to Mars with other criminals like them in a spaceship called Bugs 2. Nana is always skeptical of their competence because their team is made up of thugs and criminals. As she is talking to Komachi about the matter, the ship's captain Keisuke Dojima informs them that the ship is about to land on Mars's surface. She orders everyone to prepare for landing. After they finally touch down on the planet, they see that Mars is no longer red like it used to be, rather, it looks more like Earth, spread with green moss. Lieutenant Mina launches a device that secretes chemicals into the air to kill the cockroaches. The captain then orders them to spread around in a group of two and see if the eradication process is working. They plan to meet in three hours and choose their team members. A team member named Asuka is paired up with Yakuza, but she strangely insists on being with the group's computer specialist Ichiro. The captain accepts the request, not wanting a conflict to arise. The team's drones then locate another ship sent 10 years ago called the Bugs-1 nearby. Dojima contacts the doctor and tells him they are ready for the first contact. The doctor starts to jump excitedly, anticipating the results of the mission. The groups then step on the surface and start searching for dead cockroaches. Two group members named Jan and Maria are confused to see no cockroaches on the moss. As they continue looking, suddenly, the two come across three strange creatures standing right in front of them. They quickly hide behind a rock in fear. They had not been told about such large creatures who look like human-sized anthropomorphic cockroaches and have clubs as a weapon. Meanwhile, Komachi and Nanao, who are also looking for dead cockroaches, come across the same creature. Komachi is fascinated and tries waving at it, but within seconds, the creature attacks Nanao and snaps her neck. It then runs away in a flash, leaving Nanao's limp body on the ground. Nanao dies in Komachi's arms, and he watches her in distress. Just then, Jen's team arrives and tells Komachi about their encounter. The creatures have also killed Asuka. They rush back to the ship and tell the captain about the creature, only to find out that the captain knew about them from the very beginning. He was ordered not to tell the team members about the creature by the doctor. The captain explains that the cockroaches that were sent 500 years ago evolved at a rapid speed because of the abundance of radiation and now have turned into creatures stronger than humans. Now, the doctor appears as a hologram in front of the team and assures them they have nothing to worry about. The doctor had been preparing for this very moment for a long time. He has prepared distinguished injections for every member that will grant them the superpowers of several insects. The drug will enhance their DNA by combining it with that of the insect. Using those unique powers, they can battle the evolved cockroaches. However, the members do not want to fight the cockroaches. Rather, they want to abort the mission and fly back to Earth immediately. But soon, their ship is surrounded by the creatures. One brave team member named Godly volunteers to divert the cockroaches until the others restart the craft. He heads outside and injects himself with the chemical that the doctor had provided. As soon as he does that, a rapid mutation starts inside his body, turning him into a hybrid between a human and ground beetles. Now, Lee is able to shoot out flames from his body as beetles do. With his new powers, Lee battles the cockroaches, who seem to be as powerful as him. He uses his unique power and shoots fire from his hand. The force from the flames pushes the creatures back and burns them. But when it subsides, it is seen that only the exoskeleton of the creature is burnt. A cockroach then runs towards him and kills him in a flash. Meanwhile, another cockroach latches itself to the spaceship and breaks its windows. It enters the craft and immediately kills two of the members, making the others fear for their lives. The captain quickly injects himself with the drug and starts to evolve. His DNA is mixed with the DNA of bullet ants, who have the ability to carry things that are a hundred times their weight. The captain then easily smashes the cockroach to the floor and kills it. The team celebrates, but their happiness is cut short when they notice a crowd of cockroaches heading towards the ship from the radar. Knowing that they cannot battle them all, everyone decides to take off and go back to Earth. However, when the lieutenant tries to start the ship, the engines malfunction, and the system shuts down. It seems as though someone has deliberately sabotaged the ship to stop it from taking off. The captain quickly thinks of a plan. 
he wants the team to go to the Bugs 1 and bring all the necessary parts they will need to fix Bugs 2, while he fights the cockroaches. Everyone agrees, but Ichiro asks to stay behind with the captain and help him. Before making his way to the other ship, Komachi goes to see Nanao's corpse for the last time. He notices weird strings coming out of her mouth but doesn't think much of it. Now, the team gets inside the Mars rover, which will have to travel through a horde of cockroaches. A member named Tezuka offers to help them avoid the creatures and injects himself with a drug. He evolves into a Makli bug who can shoot out projectiles of gases in the form of flame at a very high speed. He uses his power to propel the Mars rover forward through the crowd of cockroaches. Meanwhile, the captain fights the cockroaches inside the ship with all his might, but more and more of them keep entering. He quickly makes his way to the control room and vacuums out the oxygen inside the ship, so all the cockroaches inside would die due to suffocation. His plan works, and soon, the cockroaches start to fall unconscious. But the lack of oxygen harms the captain as well, making both him and Ichiro fall to the ground. At the same time, the team inside the rover sees something massive approaching them. When they get a clear look, they are surprised to see a massive wave of millions of cockroaches coming their way. Suka still doesn't back down and uses all his power to propel the ship forward. They strike the creatures and soon land safely on the other side of the cockroach wave. The group then happily moves forward, but not long after, another wave approaches them. This one is even larger than the other wave, containing millions of creatures. Suka cannot handle them together, so two of the team members named Maria and Osaku transform themselves into their hybrid versions as well. The three try their best to fight off all the creatures, but the rover flips and aggressively lands on the ground. The three are thrown to the ground, while the ones inside the rover are knocked out. The rover turns out to be on autopilot mode and takes the members to the destination ship. Suka, Maria, and Osaku try fighting the horde of creatures but are eventually killed. When the group inside the rover regains consciousness, they are already at the Bugs 1. They make their way inside while two members guard the entrance. Mina tries to run a diagnostic of the ship, and they soon realize that the ship is transmitting data to someone on Earth. Just then, the group hears gunshots and rushes outside. Both of the guards have been killed. The cockroaches have found the weapons in the bugs and are using them to fight. Komachi injects himself with the drug and mutates into a massive hornet. With his newfound powers, he can punch holes through the cockroaches' bodies and kill them in one go. Jen does the same and turns into a desert locust that can jump up to 90 stories high, while Mina transforms into a praying mantis that can slash the cockroaches into pieces. The team battles the cockroaches and kills them in no time. The scene changes to the doctor calling someone. The phone is picked up by one of the cockroaches on Mars. Unlike other cockroaches, it can speak Japanese and communicate with the doctor. He warns the insect not to get close to Komachi once he transforms because his insect is extremely dangerous. After ending the call, the cockroach goes inside the ship bugs too and recirculates its oxygen. Then, the creature's body tears down the middle, and emerges a transformed Asuka from inside. The team had thought that she was dead, but it turns out that she was on the doctor's side the whole time. Her unique power after being injected is that she has the ability to control the cockroach's minds like an emerald cockroach wasp. So, she manipulated the insects to go against each other and survived. She then kills the captain and pours water into Ichiro's body. Ichiro, too, has been in the plan since the beginning. His body has transformed into the Asian Coronamide, a creature who can survive in extreme conditions and only needs water to reactivate. The doctor has assigned them on a mission to bring a cockroach egg back to Earth, so the Japanese government can breed them and use them to strengthen their military. This was their prime mission, and the cockroach eliminating mission was just a decoy. Ichiro and Asuka then take off the ship with the egg in it. However, the egg starts to hatch midway and gives birth to two evolved cockroaches. Asuka tries to use her power to control them, but it doesn't work. The creatures are far more evolved than the others, making them the most powerful ones of them all. They kill Asuka and call their own kind for help. The cockroaches on the surface hear the call and flap their wings to fly to the ship. When a swarm of cockroaches latches onto the ship, it starts to malfunction and crashes beside Bugs 1. The evolved cockroaches come out of the ship and order the others to attack Komachi and the group. Komachi injects himself with the other dose of the drug, speeding his evolution. They do not have much difficulty fighting the normal cockroaches, but the evolved ones are hard to defeat. One of them kills Mina after ripping her arm off. Jin injects himself with the second dose of the drug while Komachi is on his third dose. With their heightened powers, they kill more cockroaches rapidly. However, the creatures are nowhere near backing down. Jin injects himself yet again and develops a pair of wings. Now, the cockroaches fly in the sky and battle him. They attack the two in waves and do not die down because of their number. Eventually, Jen realizes that to defeat them, they should defeat the evolved leaders. He injects himself multiple times with the drug, speeding his transformation and making it irreversible with every dose. After that, he kicks one of the leaders and knocks his head off with immense power. But now, he has used all his powers and cannot fight anymore. Komachi tries defending Jin from the other leader but is defeated easily. 
Before the leader can kill them, a magical glowing creature comes flying towards them. It spreads glowing dust all around as everyone looks at it in awe. The flying creature is Nanao, who has evolved into her final form. Komachi flies towards Nanao, but before he can reach her, one of the cockroaches fires at him. However, the dust Nanao had spread turns out to be tiny explosives that cause a chain of explosions, taking all the cockroaches with them. Jin flies away before the explosion can get him and saves Komachi just in time. However, Nanao dies in the explosion. Sometime later, Komachi wakes up and sees Jin has completely turned into an insect. Jin asks Komachi to go to Earth without him as this is his new life now. Komachi obliges and makes his way to the ship. Before he can reach inside, he sees that the leader is still alive. He punches the weak cockroach but spares his life out of kindness. Inside the ship, he finds Ichiro still alive. Ichiro saves Komachi's life by shooting the cockroach behind him. The two then finally launch the escape pod and fly away to Earth as the cockroaches watch them. Back on Earth, the doctor notices that Ichiro has hacked into their system and is broadcasting the whole encounter worldwide. The doctor's assistant starts to panic, now that the Japanese government's secret is being revealed to the world. However, the doctor seems calm and says that he will sell all the bugs' data to other governments of the world that are willing to buy them. The assistant points her gun at the doctor as she turns out to be a spy for the Japanese government. But the doctor is already ready for the attack, dodging the bullet with a protective barrier. He then kills the assistant with a poison that was inserted in the lab in the case of an emergency. Back in the spaceship, Ichiro vows to expose everyone involved in the mission. When asked what he wants to do when he gets back to Earth, Komachi replies that he will make tombs in the memory of everyone who died and then come back to Mars again. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.